Without product tags, your customers are gonna have a hell of a time trying to find similar product. So in this video, I'm going to go over exactly how to add product tags and make your website 10 times easier to maneuver so that you get more sales. Hey what's going on everyone, Shri Kanase here and welcome to another Shopify video. This video is directed towards product tags and how to really filter the collections that you have created through product tags. But before jumping into this video, like always, if you're new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. It takes literally two seconds, but you stay up to date with the quality content I'm putting out basically every week. And if you guys are enjoying my videos and the uploads that I have been uploading recently, do leave this video a thumbs up. It really motivates me to continue posting videos just like these ones. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so before showing you exactly how to filter the collections, I wanted to go over on a very famous dropshipping website called bluecrate.com. I have talked about this website multiple times before in one of the videos, which is the Facebook influencer video, and it also in one of the top five Shopify stores that you should be spying on. This is your go-to place in order to do product research and spy on. However, we're on Blue Crate for a different purpose. I want to show you guys exactly what filtering by collections really means and the benefits of doing that. So filtering the collections comes through product tags because with product tags, we get to group different kinds of items together. So for instance, let's say that bluecrate.com sells some clothing shirts directed towards men. So the specific shirts that bluecrate uploads to their website would have the product tags such as shirt or shirts, or if it's in a specific niche, maybe it should be like Halloween shirts, Christmas shirts. And what Shopify does is it basically groups all of the items together which have the tag shirts or Christmas shirts or Halloween shirts, etc. So for all the Halloween shirts out there, you would have a product tag called Halloween shirt. And Shopify would show those products with that specific tag whenever someone types in Halloween shirt in the search bar. So let's go ahead and search something on bluecrate.com. Let's go ahead and type in kitchen. I wanna see what kind of products they have. So when we type in kitchen, we immediately see that we're not just shown one single product, but multiple different products. And the main reason behind this is that all of these different products have the product tag of kitchen underneath them. So let's assume I'm a customer who saw Blue Crate's ad for a kitchen product and decided to go and see whether they have any other types of kitchen products. So the first thing we would obviously do is go ahead and click on the search menu just to search up the products. It's kind of obvious that we want to show our customers who are searching in our store the most amount of items similar to the specific search term. So when we typed in kitchen for Blue Crate, we were shown kitchen accessories. So maybe we were interested in this potato peeling glove, but now that we typed in kitchen, we also became interested in this canned carousel. So as you guys can see, product tags are really important because when people search for specific products, they may get interested in other types of products. But now that I've cleared out the exact definition of a product tag and why it's so important, Let's head on over to my Shopify store to show you guys exactly how to create Shopify product tags and start filtering your collections like a professional. Okay guys, so I already imported two specific products to this Shopify store, but what I'm actually going to do is import two more products in different collections just to show you guys in this tutorial. So once I import those products, I'll meet you guys back here. All right guys, welcome back. So I added two more products to the Shopify store, some Christmas themed pillows. And we're going to go ahead and create specific product tags for these products in order to give your customers the best possible interaction they can have with your website. So let's go ahead and click on our first product, which is a Christmas themed pillow. And once this loads up, we're going to be creating some product tags for this product. Okay, now that it's loaded up, our main focus for this tutorial is going to be on the right side. So if we scroll down, we see a few different options organization, collections, and tags. So product tags, basically filtering by specific collections is done through the tags that we add. And again, these are super important along with collections. Let me go ahead and explain both for you guys. So collections is basically one single collection that we create for a specific niche. So since this is in the Christmas niche, basically a product related to Christmas, the collection that we would create for this niche would be just Christmas. As you can see, we already have one collection ready to go, which is home page, meaning any product that goes inside the home page collection is going to be shown on the home page of the website. And I'll show you guys how it looks really quickly. So let's go ahead and save this. 
and once it saves I'll go ahead and open the store up alright let's go to our store alright if we scroll down we can see that we have two items on our home page this is because they're part of the home page collection so showing specific products in a specific collection is done through the collection section as we just saw it is not done through the product tags product tags is basically used for the search bar whenever we search something up that's when product tags come into play since this is a pillow that we are have on our store and it is in the Christmas niche the first tags we want to start out with should be somewhat broad so think of this like a funnel at the very top of the funnel we want to be as broad as possible but then it slowly as we go deeper and deeper into the funnel we want to become more narrow and even more narrow so the broadest term I can think of for this specific item is this Christmas so let's write that down Christmas and you want to also write some different types of words that they can use so maybe if they like added another S at the end, so let's write that down, Chris Miss S. Even though that's not a real word, we want to just play it safe and have it as a tag because some people may mess up the spelling of Christmas and end up adding a ES at the end. Let's continue with that. So another thing I can think of is holiday themed. So holiday or holiday theme or Christmas, Christmas accessories, Chris. Oh, it's already added, so let's change that to Christmas decor. Christmas. And another thing we can add is maybe Christmas furniture. So as you can see, we are pretty much broad in these few tags that we have entered. Now that we have covered the broad aspect, we want to start diving into the funnel and going deeper and deeper. So now let's just type in pillow. And again, we want to play it safe, so let's also write it in pillows with the ES and continue even Further, let's write in something like handmade since these pillows are handmade. So handmade pillows. And also include the word cotton because some people may be searching for just cotton. And there we go. We have created a bunch of product tags that are going to be useful when someone comes onto your website to search. So let's say the person just searched up Christmas furniture. Well, they're going to be shown this pillow. And if they search up holiday theme, they're still going to be shown this pillow. So as you can see, we just basically group this specific product with these product tags that we have. And this is the general process that you should be going through when doing product importing and basically adding product tags. So let's go ahead and save this specific product and go back to our store and see if it's working well. All right, now that it has saved, let's go back to our website and just refresh the page so that all the changes get saved. And now that it has refreshed, let's go ahead and search pillow. Let's write in pillow. And aha, uh -huh, there we go. We have two search results. Snug Christmas pillows and Christmas themed pillows. You may be thinking, how did we get to see the second pillow that we added when we didn't even add any product tags to it? Well, that's because of the title. And this is why I always recommend to have a compact and straight to the point title. Because as you can see, just by searching pillow, both of the pillows came up. And one of the pillow product has tags, but the other doesn't. So this is where a really good title comes into play and is really beneficial. But let's go back to our website and add these product tags for our next pillow that we imported. So let's go back and go to our second pillow product. All right, it's the snug Christmas pillows. So for this one, we want to follow the same exact strategy. We want to start broad and then work our way through the funnel and go narrow and narrow. So for this one, let's type in the whole title this time. So snug Christmas pillow. And from there, we want to go ahead and add some variation. Again, pillows. And then just type in pillow and then pillows once again. Now we want to type in Christmas. And I actually added that incorrectly. Christmas, Chris, Messes, once again. A really good strategy would be to look through the description and see any types of words that you can add. So one thing we see is printed, polyester, cotton. These are important words. So let's write in printed pillow. That could be something people search up. Printed pillow. And pillows and cotton let's continue with a little more broad keyword so home decor holiday theme home decor accessories once we have a general selection of tags ready for a product you can just go ahead and click on save you don't need to spend hours and hours doing tags it should be something that gets done in within five minutes because it is such an easy task so let's go ahead and save this product and one thing I want to do is just type in the keyword Christmas on our store and see what comes up so let's go ahead and change this to Christmas and there we go Christmas and we found the both the pillows because we have 
product tags which basically state the word Christmas. So by now you guys can see how important it is to really have product tags for your specific product just so that we can really show our customers exactly what they want, basically exactly what they're searching for. So let's go back to our products and now let's work on the Halloween themed products. Since this is a completely different niche, I wanted to show you guys what the difference is between both. So let's go to the horrifying Halloween mask and start with some general keywords. Again, I'll meet you guys once I have the keywords written down, just to save time. Alright guys, so as you can see, for the Halloween mask, what I started with is a very broad keywords. Halloween, Halloween mask, and then I started to kind of narrow down. Then I narrowed down into mask, costume, and then we also have the keyword Halloween scary, scary mask, terrifying. So basically anything and everything that you can think of that can relate to the product. So let's go ahead and save this, and I want to show you guys if these products come up when we type in Christmas. So let's go back and just submit Christmas once again. So as you guys can see, the Halloween mask did not come up. But if we type in Halloween, we can see that the Halloween mask came up. But this time, the pillows did not come up. So again, what we just did is basically assign specific keywords to specific products. So when someone searches for Halloween, we don't want the pillows to show up because they're Christmas themed. And vice versa, when someone searches for Christmas, we don't want these Halloween masks to show up. So by now, you guys know how important it is to really add product tags to your products and make them as relatable to your products as available. But if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like because it, again, really motivates me to put more videos just like these ones. And I'll see you guys next time.